Hello YouTube and welcome to episode 28 of the Road to Glory with Circle Bruges. As you can see, things are not going well at the moment. We're sitting in 11th, KA Ghent are sitting in 8th, but since you last saw us, a lot, a lot and a lot more has happened. So we lost to Spurs last time. You can see there's not a lot of green dots there. Um, they're few and far between. We're starting to see a few more now, but the league has not been great. So we're not in a good position. The board's not happy. We are under the pump. Uh, we're, they're disappointed that we haven't signed high reputable players. They're actually happy that we've signed French players and players based in France, which I'm surprised about. We're working within the um, wage budget. We lost, obviously, to Spurs, which didn't help. We then got Anderlecht in the second round of the Cup. So I feel like those two, you know, you could probably just put a line through it and say, yep, yeah, whatever. Came up against Spurs and Anderlecht. We can live with that. It's this one here. A finish in the top six places is required. So we need to try and push and push and push to get top six. At the moment, top six is seven points away. We still have to play one, two, three. Um, again, we still need to play Bruges, Anderlecht, Stanley Liège, and KV. So we've got a lot of games against teams above us to come uh, in this run home. So we've got Ghent now. We've then got Stanley Liège and KV. We've then got Celleroy and Anderlecht who are all around us. And then we finish off with Club Bruges and Zolta. So it's going to be a really, really uh, tough run home. But if we're going to be the team we think we are, then we need to manage to get it done. So we're playing an adjusted 4-3-3. We are on stream. We've made one signing, which has been Uriel Celli, and he's come in and really just given us that creativity from the midfield, which has been perfect. Uh, we did sell Theo Zidane. We do need a win here, though. So Mateus has been away on international duty. He looks absolutely you know, fantastic as a wing back on support, sorry, as a full back on support. We're going to play the young man, Oman, in goal. So we signed. He looks very, very good. Uh, he started to play a lot better. You can see his development is really starting to pick up. His uh, overall match ratings now in the sevens. So he's conceded 22 uh, goals in 17 games. So we really need to start keeping some more clean sheets. We're going with Adam, Foe, and uh, Rasmus Hoyand up front. We've got Van der Perry, Simmons, Celli. The team on paper is fantastic. We just need to start getting those results back. Adam is only actually good for 45 minutes apparently. So what we're going to do is we're going to swap him out. We're going to bring Cabbage in and play Cabbage off the left and play Foe up front. And let's go. That's what we're going to do. Let's go. Three points is absolutely vital in this game if we want to keep our job. So let's go. Outstretched arms. Nobody expects it. I have faith. I have faith. And I have faith. Let's go. In the tunnel we go. We're kicking off. I don't even care about who's playing for them. I'm just focusing on us at the moment. Make sure you do come over to Twitch and catch all the action live because we've been riding the Circle Bruges roller coaster for a long time now. Ball in, finds Cabbage, tries to keep it in play. Kuaku does. Cabbage back post. Hoyan needs to score there. Hoyan really needs to put that in the back of the net. Imagine that. Two minutes in, you go one new up against a mid-table rival. But here we go. Kuyaku finding Cabbage. They're linking up. It's been pretty decent lately. Here we go. Stepanovic, Celi. We've been able to find the feet of our two playmakers, which has been brilliant. And we're really creating a lot more from those deeper positions as Celi gets on the ball, finding his mate Simmons. Cabbage is offside. Good finish. But he's offside. This is Bala. This is poorly Bala that we've been talking about on Twitch. You've got to thank JS for that clip. We've been using it a lot. We're looking good. We're looking sharp. We're away from home. Things are looking all right to start off with. KV go one new up against Westerlo, which is huge for us as well. Because if we can get the win, then we're tired on points with them. So here we go. We've had 60% of the ball away from home. We're doing exactly what we need to do. They're playing a very deep 4-2-3-1. So I think they're trying to... They've looked at where our playmakers are. They're sitting a bit deeper, which I'm happy about. If they're sitting deeper, it's going to give us space in that sort of higher middle area to at least control the ball. Hopefully, it means they're going to have to step out of position to come and close us down, which will then give us that opportunity to split the lines here. So here we go. Van der Perry finds Celli into Hoya. You can see who we're trying to get the ball to. It's all Simmons. It's all Celli. 
every attack we have goes through those two. So Celli finds Mateus, puts a great ball into Foe, and he puts it over the bar. We're looking good. We just haven't put any of these chances on target, which if we're going to win, we're going to start putting them on target. Here we go. Simmons, Kuaku. Kuaku finding Simmons again. Ball across to his mate, Celli. Van der Perry, Celli. Mateus, ball across. Can he put it in? He does it. Simmons, it's blocked. Celli falls over as he tries to get onto the ball and Sanyan's just taking his time a little bit finding Oman to keep the ball here well done Stepanovic and we see the player we've had six shots just none of them have been on target it's not what you want to see and AA again are just result or I should say resorting into just playing long balls to nobody they're just they're playing for the draw they're playing to just hold on Chelly and Simmons look how much space they've given our playmakers I wouldn't be giving them that much space it's four and he puts it wide he needs to put that on target we We've played really, really well. JS reckons we're going to win 3-2. But Mateus finds Stepanovic. We're just building up from the back really well here. It's exactly what we want to see. We find Kabic out in a bit of space, drifting inside, finding his mate Rasmus on the other wing. Can he drop a shoulder, get a half-decent ball in? They've got all 11 men behind the ball here. They're just giving us so much time to do what we want here in defense and building up which is positive. We can see exactly what we want to do here through Rasmus finding Kabic has a shot and this is where we need to be wary. They're just playing long. They're just giving us the ball back every time. Kyaku, Sanyan, here we go. Just don't lose it. Just shift it side to side. We find Chelly's feet. Good ball. Finding Foe who strikes it and puts it wide. He's capable of hitting him from out there too is the young French striker. Ball in. Dealt with the first ball. Kabic goes out to deal with it. There's a guy at the back post. What a save from the young man. Gives him a corner. And that would have been heartbreaking if we conceded there just before half time. Goes lick. Ball in. Dealt with by Sanyan again. Just, even if we go into half time nil nil, we've definitely been the better side here. Here we go. Yadfo driving. Don't know why he's gone all the way back to Sanyan. It's just allowed them to set up. Stepanovic. Here we go. The little intricate passes are happening now. Kabic, don't shoot that. Finding Perry. Rasmus on his left foot hits the post. We had so many chances. We're playing such good football. And that's been the most annoying thing um, in, so far in this run, I should say, is that the majority of the games, we've been right in them. And it's just been little things late that just haven't gone our way. That's sort of led to us losing or drawing games when we've been in those positions. Like here, we've had 10 shots and we've put them all off target, you know? So if we draw this, we should be very disappointed. Sanyan is the bar. They're making us just earn this goal and I'm not liking it. We've had so many chances. We've dominated this game. Van der Perry does brilliantly. Kabic just knocks it all the way back, finding Oman, which he definitely wasn't looking for. Can we just get this ball inside into Celi? Here it is. Celi, Mateus, Stepanovic, Mateus, Hoyand. We can't lose the ball here. Simmons drops a bit deeper to pick it up. There we go. Van der Perry, who is actually a good ball player himself. The midfield three are working so well. It's Kabic, he's through, and it's our first shot on target at least, but it's well saved by the goalkeeper. We are looking good. Are we going to create that one chance that we're going to put in the back of the net? Hoyan, Chelly on his left foot goes for a bone across. It's Simmons. Oh, we just need to put that just away from the defenders. 14 shots and one on target. That is the concern as we speak. We're creating enough. We're just not converting at all. Decent ball out wide here to Merdink. Finding Hernandez for AA Gent. This is where we've got to win that ball now in this mid block and then go quick on the counter. Hernandez, ball back post, dealt with. Hoyan, drop deep to pick the ball up. Trying to find Yadfo. Got to win this header. We don't. It's a shot for A. a. Gent, but it's well defended. Van der Perry sees the ball for us. And away we are. So here we go. It's got to be time for a change, I think. Um, I reckon it's going to be on the left. What we're going to do is we're going to put Fo out wide. We're going to put Adam on the right. And we're going to put Rasmus up front. I have faith to go make the difference in Adam. He's just coming back from an injury. So we definitely need to get him involved in some minutes. These are the games you need from him, and they've scored. What has our goalkeeper done? I don't believe it. I do not believe it. They've done nothing all game. The goalkeeper makes a huge mistake. I think he just tried to deal with it as a shot more. He didn't even go for the ball. He just let it run. It's almost like he didn't know there was 
a player waiting at the back post. But here we go. Kiyaku. We've gone attacking now. They're just going to sit deep. It's time for us to create something. Simmons is tired, but I'm going to try and leave him out there. Chelly, Simmons, Adam, Rasmus. I don't know why he's heading that ball towards goal. Oh, this is where... It, this is exactly how the season's gone for us, though. We've dominated so many games, not taken our chances, and then we've struggled. So Simmons is really struggling now. I'm going to bring Toure on for Simmons to be that creative option. And we're going to bring Bartol in to try and just give us those legs in the middle of the park. Here we go. Can we find something? We need a goal. Here it is. Kuyaku finding Yadfo. It's well defended by Ghent again. Sanyan. Oh, this is where I'm nervous. If we don't win this game or even draw it, we're probably going to lose our job. Kuyaku, got to get a ball in here. The young French left back, Toure, Kuyaku, Toure, Foe. Just get a shot away. There we go. There's one goal. Can we find a second? There's plenty of time. Toure comes on off the bench. Gets us a goal. Going to encourage the boys for one more. Come on, another highlight for the boys straight away. It's Adam. We've kept the ball here. Chelly gets on his left foot, and that's a strike and a half. But it's over the bar. There's still plenty of time for us to grab a winner. We need a winner. We've only had two shots on target out of 17. Chance for AA Gent. Ball in. Not a very good header. Only straight to Oman. Can we find something? He's gone long. I don't know why he's gone long there. There's no one to go to. But here we go. Can we win this ball and then go on the break? Adam needs to pick the right ball out here. He's driving. There's, there were options everywhere. Yad Foe. Don't know why you're shooting from there, Yad. Just keep driving with the ball, mate. Can we get a highlight before the end of the game? We've hit the 94th minute. We're in the final. We're well into added time. It's probably game over now. Sanya and Chelly, is there time for one more chance? There might be. There, oh, we put the ball forward, but we get a draw. 18 shots, three on target to six and three. At least we didn't lose, but it's just one of those ones where we dominated. Need to put more on the score sheet. So... As, as things stand, the board haven't said they want to talk to me just yet. So maybe they realise that that was a tough game. They've let us go. So hopefully in the next episode, we're still going to be here in the green and black. You're probably going to see us for Andelect. Um, and hopefully we're still here at that time. So if you liked this episode, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one.